in biology they say that when an environment changes the trait that helps us with the survival that also changes or evolves gradually i think technology also follows the similar path it keeps on evolving in today's era where the world is changing at very fast rate we have come to industry 4.0 now i'm sure all of you have seen similar kind of picture at your home our grandparents used to make chutneys using those silver tars in our early days slowly what i saw these silver tars were being replaced with mixer grinder today most of our grandparents use smartphone to book a cab and more amazingly they are also watching all of us on social media and liking or commenting on our post isn't that amazing <laughs> so technology is evolving us and it is helping us to live better in today's talk i will be covering the areas where i was able to contribute using my technical skills so let's begin with ai to save lives all of us ride bike i'm sure most of you ride bike and we all know that while riding the bike it is mandatory mandatory to wear the helmet even our parents says the same when you are coming out of your home generally our parent remind us to wear helmet some of us listen and some of us don't listen correct so in order to solve this problem what we have done we have created a device that will turn on the bike only if you are wearing a helmet if you are not wearing a helmet it will not turn on the device this simple invention will save more than 50000 death in a year in india itself no the impact plus it, along with saving the precious life it will prevent the trauma which the family members goes through when someone some near and dear one dies in a road accident by not wearing a helmet during covid we installed something called physical distancing system at indoor airport during the first wave we had only couple of ways which we had to follow one was wearing mask apart from wearing mask one has to sanitize their hand and other important part was sticking to a proper distance while we are speaking or communicating or standing in a queue one should maintain a proper distance so at airport we have installed a device which will make sure that if you are not standing properly it will buzz an alarm and i am very sure with this device we could have prevented many people from getting covid you know surprisingly apart from preventing people to get covid we got one more extra advantage one fine day the cis cisf person he thanked me he said before this device he personally used to ask or request people kindly stand in a queue now after this device the device itself does its job it automatically triggers an alarm or buzz an alarm so he was very happy because the device was doing his job so with this device we solved two purposes first we prevented people from getting covid this was very much needed at that moment of time because remember guys that time there was no vaccines mask and social distancing these were the only things which we could which could help us from getting covid okay how about reading our own thoughts it's not a fiction guys it's a reality 
So <clears throat> I was able to read and pass my own thought, basically two most predominant thought, that is S and no, and I was able to lit a bulb. Now I thought, why should we keep it limiting to just turning on or turning off the bulb? This invention can be a game changer. This can help millions of people who lost their limbs, either due to some accidents or some medical conditions. This can help them to use mechanical limbs just by thinking the way they used to do with, with their original limbs. Well, <coughs> we all love food and Indore is, like most of the Indoris are very fond of food. But we know that the food which we eat, it has to go through a certain cycle. And during the sowing process of food, the farmer that needs to spray some pesticide over the crop. What study says is like the farmer or the people who spraying the pesticide over the crop, they are having high probability of getting cancer, which is sad because the guy who is providing us the food may have higher probability of getting cancer. So why not solve this problem? A drone can do the same task in much more effective way. It can spray a larger area in lesser time as well as lesser amount of pesticide, which will be beneficial for both of us. One for farmer and also for the crop, because now we will be spraying the less pesticide. So you see, <coughs> these technologies are helping us to evolve and this is making our life a much, much, much simpler. This one, the non-invasive hemoglobin meter. We are working on it, working on this device. Do you know, according to WHO, uh, 2,95,000 women every year, they lose their life either during pregnancy or childbirth, which is huge and unfortunate also. Out of these unfortunate incidents, 20% of women are anemic and that contributes a lot. So close to 808 women are dying every day, which is very sad. And the solution is very simple. All they have to do is to take an iron pill. Okay, but the detection part is very complicated. So we came up with a device called non-invasive hemoglobin meter. It will work pretty much similar to how SpO2 meter works. And during COVID, all of us have used the SpO2 meter. So we know how to use it. The female at their home can measure their hemoglobin. Even in the remotest part of the country, Anganwadi, Didis, they can go to the, they can go door to door and measure the hemoglobin of women. And they can then suggest them whatever is the better diagnosis for them. So this device has a huge potential to save many lives. So <clears throat> what I'm saying through all these examples where I have worked on, we are saving lives using technology. It is helping us to live better in current, in today's world where things are changing dramatically at a very high rate. Now, if this is not evolution or evolve, then what, is, what else it evolve? And a lot of work is already in progress where people are working on something very exciting. Chat GPT, I think these days it's very popular time and all of you must be knowing about it, correct? How about nanobots? These nanobots will kill the cancer cells. They will go inside your body and target the cancerous cells only. This will help us to cure the cancer in much more effective way than the chemotherapy. 
how about traveling to distant places which are light years ahead and currently we are not able to travel them but with the technology one day we'll be able to reach those distant places using wormholes or some pretty much similar kind of technology what i want to say is our world is full with jillions of problems but at the same time we are living in the era of endless possibilities i am trying my best to solve as many of them using my limited technical knowledge and i am very confident all of you can also do the same and we can make this world a much more better place to live for each one of us with that i conclude thank you very much namaste